All right, so this video is uh, the integrals of exponentials. This should be really easy uh, because derivatives and integrals are opposites of each other, and the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So the integral of e to the x must be the reverse of that, which is e to the x. So very, very straightforward here. Two rules that we need to write down. The integral of e to the x is equal to e to the x plus c, of course. And the integral of e to the ax plus b is equal to 1 over a times e to the ax plus b plus c. Um, and that should start feeling fairly uh, familiar now. When we get this ax plus b scenario instead of the x, we can do 1 over uh, a as our uh, integral or part of our integral. All right, that's enough of that. Let's just do five questions. It should be really straightforward. We're finding the general antiderivative or integral of each of the following. So the integral of e to the 4x is going to be equal to, uh, now let's look at our rules here for a second. Now this is kind of like e to the ax plus b. Uh, there's just no plus b there. So we need to take that 4 and put it as 1 over, 1 over 4, and e to the, and that 4x will stay there now, plus C. All right, that's uh, as easy and straightforward as it is. Uh, we'll do our second question just down here a little bit. The integral of e to the 5x plus 6x, that's going to be equal to. Now we do the integral of the exponential and the integral of that one there. So the integral of the exponential bit is 1 over 5, 1 over the a value, e to the 5x. And then this next bit's not a... Um, it's not a exponential, but we already know how to integrate those. It's going to be uh, x squared, 6 over 2, which is 3. So 3x squared uh, plus c. Um, all right, there's two good ones to begin with. Continue. I've just had to in the, add the um, with respect to x there. It's a bit weird to write an integral sign without writing with respect to x. All right, let's do our uh, next question. I guess we'll have to continue this weird arrow thing. Come down here a little bit. All right, so we're going to do the integral of e to the 3x uh, plus 2 with respect to x. That's going to be equal to that 3 again comes down, 1 over 3 e to the 3x plus, and that 2 becomes 2x. And don't forget your plus c. All right, so this next one it messes with negatives and things like that, but we should be okay. Uh, the integral of e to the negative x plus e to the x with respect to x is equal to. Okay, that little negative is like negative 1. So this is going to be like 1 over negative 1 e to the negative x plus, and the integral of e to the x is just e to the x, so that's really easy, uh, plus c. And then 1 over negative 1 is just negative 1, so we can just write negative e to the negative x plus e to the x plus c. Now, if you don't believe me that that's right, why don't you just try deriving that, and hopefully you'll end up at the same answer as, as that. We didn't offer up something like this, but none of these other ones had like a, a 12 out the front, like a, um, any kind of coefficient, so that's why I wanted to throw this one in here. It's the integral of 12e to the 3x plus 2 equals. All right, you can write this if you want as 12 times the integral, I've got my with respect to x, 12 times the integral of e to the 3x plus 2 with respect to x. Uh, and now we've got uh, 12 times the integral of that's going to be 1 over 3 e to the 3x plus 2. Um, don't forget your plus c. And then 12 times uh, 1 third is 4. So we should end up with 4 e to the 3x plus 2 plus See, okay, obviously this stuff's pretty straightforward. You've done derivatives of e to the x. It's probably one of the easiest ones we've ever done. Integrals aren't going to be much harder.